Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I am Kevin and I gotta tell you, today is a cooking day for me. I will be using, you've seen my grilling area. I'm using every single grill today. Well, I'm not using my pizza maker that I know of yet. I'm using my Blackstone. We're gonna use this right now. I got my little uh, Pit Boss tailgater going. I'm gonna have my 1100 going and I'm actually gonna be using my uh, gas grill today. I've got some green chilies we're gonna be cooking up here. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. All right, for those of you that like hamburgers, cheeseburgers, uh, I'm sure you see all the videos, me included. We make these cheeseburgers doubled up, big stack. You know, they're like bigger than your head. How do you get your mouth around them, right? So today I'm gonna do a classic cheeseburger. And what I mean by classic is when I was a kid, Getting to go to McDonald's, getting to get their little cheeseburgers was a treat. Now, back then, they were delicious. I still eat them today every now and then. Not very often, but every now and then. We'll get the number two. It used to be number two, now it's the number nine. It's two cheeseburgers, fries, and a Coke. And their little cheeseburgers, you know, there's not much to them, but they're good. And just a regular burger is good. You don't have to stack it high. You don't have to use bacon jam bourbon bacon jam but you know it's always great to make exotic burgers and special burgers but today it's kind of a mcdonald's clone cheeseburger but it's going to be better than mcdonald's i mean you when you make it yourself it's going to be better right i don't think back when i was a kid they had added all the whatever they're adding to the meat today but anyway i mean we used to family of five we'd go there for five bucks and we'd get an entire meal so not today <laughs> I think it's about uh, probably 15 to 20 just for two people. Anyway, so uh, first thing I'm gonna show you, well, the ingredients. We got our patties. Let me go show you how I do these patties. Okay, all you gotta do is take your three ounce ball of hamburger, smash it down with any smasher. I use my Blackstone. And then when you take off the parchment paper, just shape it into a circle and you're good to go. Okay, so see how easy that was? I've got my patties here. And I'm doing three ounce. I would, I would guess that McDonald's cheeseburgers are probably two ounce patties. So we're already making an improvement. And the only thing that goes on them is, I didn't bring them out, but we got uh, ketchup, mustard, pickles, and little onions that look like rice. How do they do that? I'm about to show you. And of course, we've got American cheese. And last Friday night on burger night, we used uh, potato buns. So that's what I'm using. So there, there you go. There's another improvement. I will get my, um, I will get my pickle slices. I don't have the sour pickle slices that they use. They use a real thin sour pickle slice, but I'll use regular dill. This will be amazing. So let's get into this. Let me show you how, uh, how. I'm gonna copy how they do their onions for their cheeseburger. You know, the little rice bits that are on it. All right, check this out. Okay, so how does McDonald's make that little rice uh, onions? Well, I've got a half a cup of some hot water right here. And guess what? Minced onions, see those in there? We're gonna rehydrate these onions. And these will go on the burger for those little rice type onions. I'm gonna put three, let's do four. It's not really a tablespoon, it's a little spoon. And we are just gonna let this, these onions soak up the moisture and rehydrate. All right, now let's get to making these burgers. Okay, got my grill. Brittle heated up. I've got my three ounce patty. And all we're gonna do is throw that down and we're gonna go for about one minute. Let me get that uh, moved into the sunlight so you can see it. It's gonna go actually a couple of minutes. It just depends on the thickness of your burger um, and the temperature of your grill. I do have it a little above uh, low, medium low. So it'll cook a little bit longer. But uh, once it's ready, it's ready. <laughs> Now I'm pretty sure McDonald's does not toast their bun. I'm just gonna heat them up a little bit while we're at it. Okay. 
You can see that it's cooking right along the sides. Turn it over, look at that. And let me check these buns. Yep, those are looking good. Let me just take those off. Wait for the burger to finish cooking. I'm gonna flip it over again just to make sure we got it cooked through. Maybe one or two minutes, flip it over, leave it on for another minute or so if you want a medium to medium well. And that's it, let's get the build on. There you go. Okay, so let's get our build on. We got our patty with the cheese already on it. I'm going to put one. Two. Three. Ketchup. Actually, I'm going to do the ketchup on the bun. One, two, three, four. A couple of mustards. Okay. And our rehydrated onions, just like that. Look at those, don't those look just like the uh, rice onions that they put on your burger? Put that over the top, and there you go. This is the McDonald's cheeseburger clone. Look at that, the better than McDonald's cheeseburger. Look at this thing, now let me open the lid and show you. Doesn't that look exactly like the inside of one? Those little rice onions. Okay, there you have it. The better than McDonald's cheeseburger clone. Look at that. I like just like one. It's not a big monster burger. You can fit that one in your mouth. I'm gonna give it a try. Like I said, I'll order the two cheeseburger meal every now and then. I have since I was a kid, right? So, what's that? 20 years ago? <laughs> Mmm. Yep. Definitely better than McDonald's. First of all, my three ounce patty, that's definitely more than McDonald's does. I know they do a two ounce patty. So it's got more, more meat. But with the ketchup, mustard, those little rice onions, pickles. Mmm. almost exact. I say almost because this is way better. Yeah, I love these burgers. Mm. Just a simple cheeseburger. And not a smash burger. You can make these at home. Kids will love them. Adults will love them. I love them. And I'm still a kid. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you on the next video. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, sir. So good.